who have lost their lives because they had no health coverage. By ignoring them, by not paying attention to them, and by doing nothing to change the situation that led them to lose their lives. So I make this simple proposal. I propose that we identify them. I propose that we honor their memory by naming them. They themselves can no longer speak, but their families, the ones who love them, they can speak. And so I've established a website called namesofthedead.com. Wow, welcome back to Harbor. That was uh, Florida Congressman Alan Grayson on the House floor earlier this week. His critics don't like what he was doing there. They also didn't like when he said Republicans want people to die quickly. With us now, U.S. Congressman Alan Grayson. Sir, thank you for joining us. Yes, it's sir. an interesting thing you do in politics. You, uh, you stick your neck out and you challenge the other side. You may even break the rules. Was uh, putting your website or whatever it was on the House floor a breaking of the rules just to be technical here? No, yes or no? No, no member of Congress has even filed a complaint about it. It's just Republican propaganda. The same thing happened when I spoke up before. They made a big to-do about it. They said it was breaking this rule, that rule, and the other rule, and they nothing ever came of it. They, they, they just lie. They lie in and order to distract up, people from the a, truth. Have uh, they come up with a real fighter to knock you off in your district? Are they going to try to get rid of you, put some money behind this guy? Well, I think the Republican Party will. They spent $2 million last year just to keep me out. But we've established a website, Congress, Congressman with Guts a money bomb for November 2nd. We just put it up. We already have $100,000 in pledges. Well, how did you get to be Captain Cajones? How did you get this <laughs> role? I mean, how, how did you discover this uh, thing, this gutsy thing you do? I watch hardball. Okay, well, that's the, I don't know, no more questions. Let me ask you about, <laughs> about the health care bill. I am trying to figure this out. I'm, I'm sort of a, a, a practical political student, believe it or not. When I call this show hardball, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out all the time. And I'm trying to figure out what you guys in the House are going to do. Can you deal with all the issues on the plate right now? Abortion rights, where there's apparently going to be some kerfuffle on that. The whole question of how you deal with the public option. Can you really come, as Nancy Pelosi, your leader has said, the Speaker of the House, and get something actually done in November? This we coming have to. sweet November. There's no choice, Will you, Chris? though? Look, 122 well, Americans are dying every single day because they have no health care. That's the fact. We have to move ahead. Delay means death. There is no alternative. Well, let's take a look at what John Boehner, the guy I always think of as a guy that just blew a putt on the 18th hole. Here he is, uh, John Boehner. He always looks like he just put down a cigarette, you know, and he just sort of blew a putt. Here he is, John Boehner, the uh, Republican leader of the House. Let's listen to his uh, Jeremiah today. The White House and uh, congressional Democrats know that their liberal special interest agenda is not very popular. And now uh, they're following a familiar pattern. When you can't win an argument based on the facts, uh, launch vicious political attacks. And this uh, Chicago-style politics uh, is shutting uh, the American people out and, and demonizing their opponents. Uh, they're writing a health care in bill in secret, even though uh, the president I called for all of this to be out on an open table and have C-SPAN cameras in the room. Yeah, that's not Dan Aykroyd, by the way. That was a real congressman. What do you uh, make of this, uh, uh, the fact that, uh, that this guy, uh, well, he's got ca uh, cameras, by the way, chasing around the oversight committee. They're getting to be pretty rowdy on the other side. Is this going to be where one side accuses the other of trying to kill people and the other side accuses the others of being not American, like Michelle Bachman's out there always talking about you guys not really being Americans and her own leaders like Bob Dole not really even being for freedom? I mean, these charges are flying in politics today. Listen, if you watch him on closed captioning, any speech, the closed captioning reads this way. Blah, 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 blah. They are completely unfocused on anything that matters to anybody. They're the party of no, and they're in danger of becoming the party of nobody. Okay. Do you like the leadership of your party? Yes. I believe Nancy Pelosi is committed to improve health care for America and save lives. I believe it's going to happen because she's going to make it happen. Do you like the leadership of the Senate Democrats? Well, they got to move things along. We would have gotten this bill passed four <laughs> months ago. Four months earlier, if it were just up to the House. Do you believe that you will pass the bill the president will be able to sign by Thanksgiving or at least by Christmas? I can't think of a better Christmas gift from okay. America to America than health care for okay. everyone. 
We had an interesting development on the show. I got rather heated here a minute ago, Congressman. I don't know if you saw it. You may have been busy at the time, but let me tell you what happened here. Uh, Dick Cheney, and that's how you pronounce his name, was out last night in black tie along with his, uh, well, his felon, former chief of staff, who I think took the bullet for him in that whole matter, uh, perjury and obstruction of justice, and he wasn't out robbing gas stations. His behavior was right there in the office under Cheney's leadership. Anyway, the prosecutor in that case said there was a, a cloud over Cheney's head. The, pro the prosecutor obviously brought the justice to that guy, Scooter Libby. He got convicted of a number of counts of perjury and obstruction of justice. The president even held his nose and would not pardon these guys, wouldn't pardon uh, Scooter Libby. Here's this guy with all his inglorious background out trashing the president of the United States for dithering. Your response? Well, my response is, and by the way, I have trouble listening to what he says sometimes because of the blood that drips from his teeth while he's talking. But, but my response is this. He's just angry because the president doesn't shoot old men in the face. But by the way, when he was done speaking, did he just then turn into a bat and fly away? Oh, God, we got to keep a level here. Let me ask you this. Don't you have any Republican friends? <laughs> Some of my best friends are Republicans. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. U.S. Congressman Alan Grayson, all right, just dubbed him Captain Cajones. We'll see if that sticks.